Welcome back to another Kitten Space Agency monthly dev update summary video. September has passed and we got some interesting updates regarding different parts, some graphics goodies as well as some interesting stuff behind the scenes that did not make it to the pre-alpha yet. Let's check it out. The month started with a moon screenshot posted by Dean. We see some craters in half shadows looking good. Daishi posted an update on monoprop tanks. We see one size of different opened and closed models and one smaller version of the pressurant tanks. Clustered lighting was implemented. What we get from it are multiple things. Look at the RCS jet firing. We see a nice reflection on the rocket material. And if you look closely, we also see the RCS housing itself drawing a nice shadow. Dean describes it as an evolution of one of our favorite KSP mods, Deferred Rendering. He goes on mentioning that this helps being able to render lots and lots of light sources at the same time. Which is super important in space and super important to add to the overall atmosphere of a space game. And I would totally agree to that. It is announced that we will soon get some light parts to attach to rockets. Two videos are showing some work that has been done towards interstellar travels. Interesting. Yep, interstellar already has a fixed place in the mind of the devs. We see how really, really far objects are correctly being shadowed when they are not facing the sun. And also we see a nice zooming out shot from Jupiter out until the whole system is just some little dots in the distance. Different variations of crew hatches are shown. There are options for handrails and windows. A new method for generating waves has been implemented by BlackRack. They look really cool and are quite configurable and customizable. I even made a dedicated comparison video on this channel, link in the description. It really is a big improvement to the old waves. The current progress on the capsule model is really nice. We see two angles of it and on the left side there are also some additional parts attached already. There is now a feature to add procedurally generated craters to bodies. I mean, right now it doesn't really make sense to add generated craters to the moon because we know all the craters on the moon, right? But in any upcoming imaginary system and imaginary bodies, this will be really, really handy. Fun fact, I wanted to make a video on this feature and asked on the Discord where these generated craters can be found exactly. Turns out they are all, all over the moon right now and they are just so good that I didn't notice them amongst the other real craters. Amazing. We got some nice shots of the model of the medium capsule service bay. When opened, we can clearly see that it will offer place for six modules to be inserted. The cloud god Black Rack did some miracles again and added shadows to our beloved volumetric clouds. Those really add to the overall graphical beauty. Josh gave us an update on vessel reflections. He explains two main parts, which are star reflections and atmospheric reflections, and they really look amazing. Next, we got four random screenshots without any comment from Dean. Let's just enjoy their beauty. The part system is slowly getting a shape. We got a nice preview of what is to become the first part that we can actually customize the RCS engines. There are going to be nozzles in the sizes inset, small and large, as well as frames in sizes low profile, raised profile and compact. We will be totally free to combine and position them via XML files manually and there is supposed to be a graphical editor as well. Also there will be preset parts to choose from. 
For the first time, we see a custom part in space and in the game. We got a nice video of a service bay floating around. BlackRack posted four screenshots that showcase a side-by-side -side comparison of improved ocean roughness rendering. It looks more natural now. A location-aware music player has been implemented. Now we just need some music in the game to make use of it, right? A second Gemini model has been added that orbits close to the first Gemini capsule. This makes it much easier and faster to test rendezvous stuff. This is muscle memory for all KSP players, but now we get it in KSA as well. Right-click on a part to show info. And that was it for this month. See you in the next month. And don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye.